Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll surely find a video about every single country on earth. In today's video, we're going to explore American Samoa, an unincorporated territory of the United States. But keep in mind that there's an entire playlist of all the US states and territories, so be sure to check that out too. Please remember to subscribe if you wish to see the two brand new videos I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. American Samoa is a US territory, but it's not a state. It's an unincorporated territory, which basically means that while it's controlled by the US, it's not actually part of the Union. This puts the territories at a disadvantage, because, for instance, while states do have sovereignty alongside the federal government, territories do not. American Samoans are also the only ones that do not gain US citizenship at birth unless one of the parents is a US citizen. They are only considered US nationals and can obtain citizenship by naturalization if they reside within the actual union for three months, pass a test in English and civics and take the oath of allegiance to the United States. If you ask me, this isn't quite the deal one would hope for. I'm guessing you don't know too much about American Samoa, so why don't we start with the basics, like location. This small territory of the US lies in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It consists of five main islands and two coral atolls, which only cover about 199 square kilometers, so all the islands combined are no bigger than Washington DC. 55,000 people live in American Samoa, 95% of whom live on one island, Tutuila. One more thing to know about them is that they are patriots, despite their status within the US. This small nation has the highest rate of military enlistment of any state or territory. Have you ever heard of the Spanish flu? Amazingly, in most cases, the answer is no. Well, you better listen up then. The 1918 flu pandemic was probably the deadliest one you've never heard of. It was an unusually deadly influenza pandemic caused by a mutation in the H1N1 subtype of the flu virus. That's right, it's the same virus we hear about every year. Because the outbreak coincided with World War I, the disease quickly spread around the world, infecting 500 million people and killing 50 to 100 million people, which at the time was 3 to 5% of the planet's population. It was in fact one of the deadliest natural disasters in human history that we know of, and no one was safe even and especially young healthy adults were dying because of it. Most countries were affected by this influenza strain, even in the Pacific Islands, except in American Samoa. Here, the government quickly imposed strict quarantine regulations by surrounding the islands with warships. Thanks to Governor John Martin Poyer, who requested the ships upon hearing reports of the outbreaks on the radio, American Samoans were spared by this wave of deaths. Neighboring Samoa, which at the time was administered by New Zealand, didn't enforce a quarantine and as a result, 22% of their population died of the flu. American Samoa was one of only three places in the entire world that managed to prevent any deaths during this pandemic, the other ones being New Caledonia and Marajo Island in Brazil. American Samoa has its own capital, Pango Pango. The town itself is the only modern urban center in the territory, and it's composed out of six villages, with Pango Pango itself having just 3600 residents. The entire metro area has a population of 8000 people, which means that this capital is definitely not a crowded one. The town is the fourth largest, well, 
tuna processor, hosting the world's two largest tuna companies. Pango Pango also played an important role in NASA's Apollo program, but more on that in the next fact. So how are the moon landings connected to Pango Pango? The area was used as a splash landing site for US astronauts of the Apollo 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 17 missions. The crews landed near Tutuila Island and flew from Pango Pango to Honolulu and back to the mainland. One American Samoan flag actually made the trip to the moon and back and is now on display at the Jean P. Hayden Museum in Pango Pango. You'll also find several moonstones there, which were a gift to American Samoans from President Richard Nixon. As you can imagine, American Samoa is a tropical paradise. But wait, for 300 out of the 365 days of the year, it rains. Don't panic though, that doesn't mean it rains everywhere, all the time. And even so, the average daily temperature is around 28 degrees Celsius, all year round. Couple that with the gorgeous beaches, lush tropical forests and kind and welcoming people and you've got yourself a vacation to remember. I'm guessing you already figured out that American Samoans are ethnically Samoans, thus having a lot of things in common with the neighboring sovereign nation of Samoa. One of those things is the Fa'a Samoa which literally translates to the ways of Samoa. Fa'a Samoa consists of the Samoan language, customs and culture, a collection of the traditional and continuing Polynesian lifestyle. One characteristic is the strong family bond, villages still center around the family. Fa'a Samoa is completely understood by all Samoans and provides support and direction. The most important concept of the Fa Samoa includes the way you stand, walk and speak. Everyone, regardless of age, is ought to know how to stand, how to walk and most importantly, people will be able to determine if you are a true Samoan through the way you talk. Respecting and honoring elders is also paramount in Samoan society. The Samoan ways are in fact similar to the Christian teachings, which is partly why Christianity was able to quickly spread throughout the Samoan islands and is to this day a very strong and respected institution. And there you have it. These were 7 facts about American Samoa. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thoughts downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time, bye.